what is up everybody and welcome back to my channel for another one smash those likes and hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified any and every time i post another video i was going to do my routine video but then i saw this tweet by the man the myth the legend james james Fallon. um his tweet as of 18 minutes ago says in a power move to rule the entire crypto space sideline the cftc and preempt congressional action regarding what agency should oversee guess what crypto markets gensler nearly doubles the size of enforcement crypto assets and cyber unit and that i keep telling you folks let's click on this to see what actually brings up it nearly pains me and saddens me that every time the crypto space takes two steps forward the sec tries to overthrow and, and tries to do checker moves get it i said checker moves not chess moves but this is just i am so tired of the sec trying to do this let's see what they're saying washington dc may 3rd 2022 the securities and exchange commissions today announced that the allocation of 20 additional positions to the unit responsible for protecting investors in crypto markets and from cyber related threats the newly renamed crypto assets and cyber unit formerly known as the cyber unit in the division of enforcement will grow to 50 dedicated positions are you kidding me right, i'm sorry folks i'm just gonna just read this whole thing the u.s has the greatest capital markets because investors have faith in them and as more investors access the crypto markets it is increasingly important to dedicate to dedicate more resources to protecting them said sec gary Chair Gary Gensler, the Division of Enforcement's Crypto Assets and Cyber Unit has successfully brought dozens of cases against those seeking to take advantage of investors in crypto markets. That is so BS. I hate that term where they say um, they're trying to protect investors. No, you got over, what is it, 60 plus thousand people who are invested in crypto and those that do not have crypto investments saying that the SEC is actually wrong for the Ripple versus SEC case. Are you kidding me? And then you keep saying protect, protecting. No, you are not protecting. You are you are part of you. The SEC is the actual problem that needs to be completely dismantled because there's just no possible reason and there's no rhyme or reason for them to actually continue to do this. I don't know. I'm just so frustrated by this. I, I get tired of them sitting there saying that, like, you just literally made a law for accredited investors to only make money when it comes to, um, I forgot the platform, but you only, but you, you had it set up for the rich to get rich and the poor to get poor. That is so completely absinthe. It's so just, I don't know, folks, it's just really making me mad that no one is actually trying to step in well there's people that's trying to step in but we just have to have the right people to actually do this and and tell them and smack them on the wrist i don't can i don't condone violence but just smack them on the wrist and say hey you need to stop doing this because what you're doing is insane you keep saying that you're protecting investors but you're actually protecting your banker friends it's really starting to get insane it's really starting to get in my nerves and i know i'm just a small content creator I'm growing and I thank you. I thank you for my followers that are coming in from TikTok and from Twitter. And I thank you from people that don't have those two that are coming in from YouTube. But this is absolutely insane. Like, come on. Do what you said that you were going to do and let the CFTC handle crypto. Do it. Okay, I get that. Um, I get that crypto you know, starting out has to get funding some sort of way, but if they're not getting funded by, um, but if they're letting their platform grow by them donating money and not asking for money in return, but in return having actions, that is not a security. Give it a break. Let it rest. Okay, but it also says, by nearly doubling the size of this key unit, the SEC would be better equipped to police wrongdoing in the crypto markets while continue to add, while continue to identify disclosure and controls with respect to cybersecurity. 
Since its creation in 2017, the unit has brought more than 80 enforcement actions related to fraudulent and unregistered crypto assets, offerings, and platforms, resulting in monetary relief totaling more than $2 billion. So if this was done in 2017, why wasn't any... This was actually during the ICO phase. So then why wasn't Ripple being brought up in the lawsuit then if you thought unregistered crypto assets offerings, also known as unregistered securities, if you thought Ripple was doing some type of wrongdoing? Hence, because it wasn't. There's actually a tweet in the article going around, and I forgot who did it, saying that JP Morgan and Swift and another company actually joined forces to actually fund the to actually fund Ethereum. I have nothing bad about Ethereum. I want Ethereum to make it, but at the same time, I want us to have a level playing field of this because clearly there was unregistered securities in the ICO for Ethereum, but uh, but Ethereum had a free pass, hint to him in speech. It's just so annoying at this point there's just corruption in his face and you know if it looks like a duck it quacks like a duck it smells like a duck it is a duck and you can clearly see the sec right now is a duck i can't believe these people our good old us of a government but anyways the expanded crypto asset and cyber unit will leverage the agencies Expertise to ensure investors are protected in crypto markets with a focus of investigating security laws violations related to, are you kidding me? Crypto asset offerings, crypto asset exchanges, crypto asset lending and staking products, decentralized, also known as DeFi products, non-fungible tokens, and stable coins. Are you kidding me? This reach is just absolutely insane. Congress needs to step in and step in fast. Because this is too much. This is too much. Okay, I can understand the crypto asset lending because you don't want uh, the stable coin, which they are trying to uh, enforce down here. But there's also stable coins. And uh, when it comes to that Coinbase lend, which I touched over a few months ago, saying how the SEC was going to was going to potentially sue Coinbase because of their lending platform and because the USDC token was going to have a more of a return than the actual US dollar itself. I could okay. Okay, I I get that. Is it still wrong that the SEC was going to potentially sue Coinbase because of a cryptocurrency that is pegged to the dollar that has a one to one ratio? That's still stupid to me. I'm sorry, folks. That is just stupid. Staking products. Gary Gensler already said that if a Gary Gensler already said that if a third party um, holds your digital assets that's locked in that that you cannot m send or receive while it's locked in is considered a security. Okay, I get that. That has ETH in there, but then don't start throwing in staking products that is considered decentralized because you can't sue something that's decentralized. Hint XRP, hint Cardano. I'm gonna say Ethereum right now, but back then Ethereum was not decentralized. But then their rule is still is excuse me. <coughs> so. Sorry, but then their rule is um, if something something decentralized, that means that their um, platform still does no longer needs to be worked on. Well, if that's the case, every cryptocurrency blockchain is being worked on to be better to upgrade to, to get the potential to to get to the potential godly like speed transactions up to a million transactions per second. That doesn't make sense. Make it make sense because right now it is not making sense any sense and then you got non-fungible tokens are you kidding me so you're gonna try to patrol and try to enforce an artist artwork are you kidding me there's only one way that you can actually enforce and validate a blockchain when it comes to an nft and and it's the timestamp of the actual nft the nft has what's called I'm going to just say this, but you know, it's called like the Eve trait where there's a stamp that you can actually that you can actually validate to see where it came from all across the world. And I'm going to get into that further down. But I just that's what I that's what I compare 
the origins of an NFT stamping from this its origins is that particular stamp because you know where it came from no matter where you are and you can actually validate those NFTs. But then we talk about stable coins. <laughs> you are just reaching good old Gary boy. You are reaching. This is just insane to me. I I don't know. Congress needs to do something. Let's let's go on. In addition, the unit has brought numerous actions against SEC registrants and public companies for failing to maintain adequate cybersecurity controls and for failing to appropriately disclose cyber related risk and incidents. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually forgot this crypto asset exchanges. OK, if you're trying to regulate crypto asset exchanges, that means that you consider every cryptocurrency on an exchange a security. And that's not the case. My thing is you you're just reaching so far. You're reaching so far because you because everybody is reaching to try to get money out of everybody. Everybody wants money out of everybody until there's no money left to be taken out. This is my this is their way of saying, hey. I want to take your money from you and not say that I want to take your money from you. <laughs> that's right. That's going to be a good meme. I think I'm going to create that soon. Tell me you want tell me you want to take my money without telling me you want to take my money. And then I'm having a meme of uh, Chair Gary Gensler right there and the SEC. Even the SEC that's not actually speaking about what's wrong and what's right. Because we hear it all day. You can say something in front of us. The people that are pro crypto, you can say it in front of us. But if you're not taking action like some of Congress is doing then you're just the same as the SEC that's actually trying to make these actions and make and make the poor poor and the rich richer because that's what they're trying to do. Like they're making their banker friends richer while the poor who's trying to create generational wealth is still trying to create generational wealth. I don't like it. I hate that saying I, that irks me saying the poor is going to get poor while the rich is getting rich. But that's what's happening. I don't know, folks. This is just really irking me. Just this whole them trying to do something like this. And with the lawsuit being extended to possibly 2023, which a settlement could take into take into play. There is making room for this. And it's just like, come on, like. Like initially when Gary Gensler was the new chair, we thought that everything was going to be all peaches and cream. Everything is not peaches and cream. Everything is horses and dog. You fill in the blank. But this is just insane to me. OK, the crypto asset and cyber unit will continue to tackle the, the will continue to tackle the omnipresent cyber related threats to the nation's markets. Crypto markets have ex explo exploded in recent years. Yeah, and you want some money of it. With retail investors bearing the brunt. Yeah, we bear the brunt because of the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit of abuses in the space. Meanwhile, cyber related threats continue to pose ex ex exist what's it? existing risks, whatever, to our financial markets and participants, said sorry, I don't want to pronounce his name wrong. Director of the SEC Division of Enforcement. The Bluster Crypto Asset and Cyber Unit will be at the forefront of protecting investors and ensuring fair and orderly markets in the face of those critical challenges. The infusion of 20 additional positions in the Crypto Assets and Cyber Unit will bluster the ranks of the supervisors, investigate staff, attorneys, trial counsels, and fraud analysts in the agency's headquarters in Washington, D.C., as well as servant several regional offices. I don't know, man. This is just BS if you ask me. Because the SEC is trying to imprint and stun print because they know this is where the money is. However, the Congress believes different, but they haven't done different. The only person that I've seen that's done different in Congress is that party of, what is it, five or six. I call it the Fab Six because they are, it's, 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 it's the bipartisan group that's making bills, that's trying to prohibit a lot of things that the SEC is doing. But we need a lot more help than that because this is just absolutely absent. This is absolutely insane. This is stupid. Gary Gensler and the SEC saying that they're trying to protect investors when they're actually trying to protect their friends. Something's going to have to break eventually because having presidents over crypto asset offerings 
crypto asset exchanges, crypto asset lending and, and staking products, decentralized finance platforms, non-fungible tokens and stable coins. It's absolutely insane. It's stupid to me, but something's going to have to happen. For a moment, I was starting to, you know, think there was light in the tunnel, which there is, but it's just at the same time, they're trying to overreach and do too much. Somebody needs to put them in their place, and I need to put them in their place now and tell them that they can't continue to do this. They can't be doing that. All right, everybody, that would do it for me. Please make sure you smash those likes and hit that subscribe button, and please click that notification bell so you get more information like this coming out of me soon. As always, stay focused, stay locked in. Peace.